As you know, it's your next comic, Bob Biggerstaff. You ever had a conversation with someone and they emphasize the wrong words as they're talking to you so it doesn't make sense like it's supposed to? Here's my example. I'm up the night with a buddy of mine. It's late. We're kind of drunk. We have an IHOP. We're eating some meat, right? Waiter takes our order, comes back with our food. As he sets our food down, he says, enjoy, guys. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. What the hell's in these pancakes? I'm out of shape. I need to get in better shape. This is the final straw. This will let me know I need to get in better shape. I was at the movies the other day, using the urinal at the movie theater. It's one of those automatic flush urinals, and when I stepped away from the one I was using, mine and the two on either side, I flush. <laughs> Journal. Is that even such a good idea? Seriously, I don't need lasers shooting around my junk. I eat too much bad food. I like to eat burritos. I always go to that Chipotle burrito place. Yeah, I was there the other day. The guy making my burrito was a Latino gentleman. He had a big tattoo on his throat. He had three little teardrop tattoos coming out of the corner of his eye. And if my extensive knowledge of law and order is correct, <laughs> The guy making my burrito has killed three people. He's like, you want guacamole on that? I'm like, only if you think I need guacamole. I'm not really hungry, to be honest with you. There's a 50, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. So I have a mustache, this is my second mustache. I had one over the summer, but I was drunk one night trimming it, you're not supposed to do that. Oh, that's not even. Oh, great, that's not even. Now oh, I look like a fat Hitler. <laughs> Can't go outside with the fat mustache. Hey, I got a new mustache. You guys like my mustache? It's a fat -ler. <laughs> Big football fan. I was watching a football game recently. I'm at this bar. This girl's sitting next to me. Guy makes a big play in the game. She's, they show his name on the TV screen. This girl next to me sees his name. She goes, that guy's name is De Derek Moore. She's like, his first name's De Derek? Who the hell would name their kid De Derek? I'm like, well, actually, his first name's Derek. He's a defensive end. <laughs> it's got a different font there, you should have noticed. Last name's Bigger Staff, right? Take it easy. <laughs> I'm doing a show a couple weeks ago after the show. This girl comes up to me, this hot chick. She's like, Bigger Staff, that's my last name too. She shows me her ID. She's like, we've got to be related. One of the other guys in the show goes, hey man, I think you got a shot with her. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, well, when the conversation starts with we've got to be related, probably not going to end with me sleeping with her. <laughs> I mean, I'm still gonna try. <laughs> I just know how these things always end. Big sports fan. It's tough being a sports fan these days, though. Right? Because what do you always hear about in all the sports? Steroids. Right? And all the sports. Even in the Olympics. Last Summer Olympics, North Korean guy won the gold medal at his event, had it taken away the next day because he failed the steroid test. You know what his event was? The pistol shoot. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't even a timed event. <laughs> what the hell does the pistol shoot guy need steroids for? I saw a picture of him. He had one huge finger and a gigantic eye. <laughs> I what he was doing. Even in basketball, in the NBA, guys take steroids. At least I think they do. Another guy. Place for my hometown, Houston Rockets. I know this guy's on steroids. You know what I'm talking about. Play center for the Houston Rockets. Yao Ming. Yeah. Seven foot six Chinese guy. 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> Try and tell me that's not some Chinese communist steroid experiment gone awry. I think they might have glued two Chinese guys together right now. <laughs> He's out again for the season, broke his foot. Anybody know how he broke it? He hit it on the rim. <laughs> Everybody's got their cell phones these days. It's amazing what you can do on your cell phones. My favorite feature on my phone is still the caller ID, right? Everybody has that. But what do you use the caller ID for? Not for the calls you want to get. Right? It's to screen your calls. Nowadays with the smartphones, somebody calls that you want to talk to, everybody's got like their own special ring or a song that plays, or I like big butts. What's up, Mom? <laughs> You. Caller ID is the calls you don't want, right? Like 800 number. I don't be friends with an 800 number. <laughs> Maybe 900. <laughs> They're not supposed to call me. <laughs> I got a call the other day. The area code was 866. I'm like 866. <laughs> nice try, Visa. <laughs> you didn't get me on 888. I ain't falling for 866. <laughs> I guarantee you, every single person here has done this. At some point, you've answered the phone without looking at the caller ID, right? You probably hung up with the person once you realized it was. <laughs> That's rude, so I thought I developed the perfect way to get rid of someone on the phone without actually hanging up on them. <clears throat> Here was my plan. This guy calls me. He goes, hello, can I speak with Robert Biggerstaff? I'm like, yes, this is he. And then I thought, uh-oh, he called me Robert. <laughs> not sound like my mom. <laughs> okay, he goes, hello, Robert, this is Bill with Visa. We haven't seen your pay in a couple months. We were just wondering what the problem is. And I'm on my cell phone, right? So I'm like, well, see, the problem is... <laughs> And the thing with the... <laughs> like, my phone's cut out, right? And the guy goes, yeah, that's not gonna work. I hear the TV fine in the background. <laughs> hey, my name's Bob Biggerstaff, folks. Thanks for listening.